Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes. I call Satisfactory for another day. Good old Tuesday. Hopefully you guys are having a good day on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yes, welcome back to our modded playthrough. Uh, and, uh, yes, this is a modded playthrough. And if you have a if you'd like to know what those mods are, <laughs> holy crap. Uh, if you'd like to know what those mods are, it is down in the description, listed down in the description section of the video. Um, along with the list of all the authors of those mods. And, um, a, a link to uh, Satisfactory Mod Manager, so that way you can download and install mods for yourself. Wow, what an intro! <laughs> I'm leaving it in. Yeah, screw it. I'm leaving it in. Ooh, almost deleted the wrong box. That would have been bad. Let's, uh, let's get going on this. I'm gonna delete these real quick. They're bothering me. These are not connected to anything anymore, anyway. Plus, we filled in that hole. That's that. That's where... Actually, it looks kind of cool. That's where that stuff is. Um, oh, yeah, by the way... I think I made too many... things. Yeah, I made, uh, I made way too many. Uh... Because it's 15 branches to 2, which is, uh, so 15 to 2, and then 30 to 4, and then we take 15 there, 15 per 4, I don't, I don't remember, I somehow got this really screwed up. I honestly, I don't know how. It was just one of them things. Go. Clear this out. So somehow I got way more than I needed. But yeah, we have the 100 reefs. Um, along with our 200... Yeah. Along with our 200... Um, ornament bundles. So yeah, I just thought I'd take care of this before we got started. And oh, we need 500 bows, which we should have a thousand. Yeah, we have a thousand. So that's 500. I just let the uh, between the episodes, I left the game on for a little while. Just let it kind of. Oops, wrong thing. Just let it kind of build up stock. That way, we could easily um, get things done and get this research going. Okay, so we got that. New parts, new buildings, ooh. What did we get? That's brand new. Fix it. Ooh, fix Miss Reef. Oh, you can put it on walls and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, it's it's probably like a wall hole uh, for a pipe in disguise, right? Yeah, probably go to this. <laughs> we also got a snow machine, fun. I need to put those snow machines uh, somewhere. I need to make a bunch. Um, so our next one is... We got the 500 bows. We just need 500 of those things. So 500 candy canes. Um, which is three presents each. So 5, 10, 1,500 uh, presents. So 1,500 presents. Oh, we need to switch... Uh, we need to switch this over. Candy canes, so yep, 1500 presents, which we should have. Um, I'm gonna put this stuff in there because we no longer need it. Put that in there, 510, 1500. Okay, oops, no crap, I really screwed it, didn't it? That 1500 presents. Uh, yeah, there. <laughs> that 
that's it. I think I misclicked. Okay, now we're good. So we're going to make the candy canes, and then we're going to make the snowballs, and then we're going to do the other research. This stuff there. Get rid of that. So have plenty of presents to continue. I wish I knew what the... Oh, I do know what the last one is. Okay, 500 stars. What do the stars take? I can work on getting the stars. Is it this? Yes. So it's... Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, we're going to need to do some calculation here. Okay. <laughs> gonna take a lot. We're gonna get her done though. We're gonna get her done. Uh, so 500. So 500. That's a lot. So 500 divided by 5. That'll tell us how many reefs we need. I am going to get... Because we don't have signs in this game yet. So I'm gonna get a pen. And I always have sticky notes next to me on my desk here to make sure that I can always write something down. <laughs> All right. So the the reefs. Uh, let's calculate for reefs first. So 500 divided by 5 will tell us how many reefs we need, right? This is 5 per 1. Um uh, Five reefs times... No, it'd be five times 50, wouldn't it? Or five times 500. Yeah, it'd be five times 500. Yeah, because it takes five to make one of them. So, almost almost got that wrong. So, five times 500. 2,500. This is the big push. And then that'll be... Reefs. I'm just going to type it as reefs. So 500 reefs, okay. And then 20 candy canes. That's a lot of candy canes. So 20 times 500. <laughs> 20 times 500. 10,000. 10,000 canes. That's enough to do about one, or about... Uh, yeah, about 5% of the uh, old people population. We can get them some canes. That's uh, uh, Christmas oriented. <laughs> Just imagine. Uh, Alright, so, so 10,000 canes. Okay. And that'll tell us. Alright, so then we're going to go into the reefs. Since we need 2,500 reefs. Select recipe. Reefs. Okay. So then we're going to take those 2,500 reefs times 15. 2,500 times 15. It was 37,500. It's 37,500 by 2, which is 18,750. <laughs> 750. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. Um, that's 15 times 2,500. 37,000. By that, that's 18. Yeah. Headset's falling off my head. That is correct because we make two reefs every time. So, um, so we take that 15 times the number of reefs we need. And then we divide it by two, since it uh, takes two, so. Or since it uh, makes two. Okay. And that is the branches. Branches. Okay. So now, we're going to take the fixments, the ornament bundle, so we need to take our 2,500 times six. 2,500 times 6, 15,000, 15,000, and we divide that by 2, 7,500, 
hundred. And I'm gonna type in her write in bundles. I'm doing this the old fashioned way. <laughs> the old fashioned way when you didn't have like the ability to type stuff on your computer while using other programs. Uh, you just write it down in sticky notes. <laughs> Uh, or in a notebook if you prefer that. So 7,500 bundles. And then select recipe the bundles. Okay. Alright, the bundles are one to one. So if we need 7,500 bundles, uh, we need that in. Red and blue, or not red and blue, ah, oh, sorry. Uh, we need that in copper. Copper and iron. Iron. Okay. So now we'll go over to here. This will tell us how many ornaments we need. Uh, Okay, I'm also going to take that, uh, uh, well it's going to give it to me anyway. Um, so it takes three ornaments to make one uh, iron ornament. So we take our 7500 times that by two, which is 15,000, oh my gosh, or sorry, three, um, not two. Uh, three. 22,500 red. So 22,500 red. Or blue. 22,500 blue. So 22,500 blue. And then I believe that other one is actually times two as well. Yeah, it's times two. So, 15,000 was it? Yeah, 15,000. 15,000. 15, Red. I don't think I have enough presents for all of these. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. That's a lot. And anyway, we can calculate it from there, so. Okay, we got 2,500 reefs, and I can't believe it takes that many reefs to make that. I'm going to double check, but it takes five Fixmas decorations, which is uh, which is these Fixmas decorations, the reefs. It takes five per one, so we did take that five times... Uh, five times five hundred. That's twenty five hundred. Okay, so we're good. That solves all of that. So the first thing we're probably going to be making is these anyway. Um, so this is this is supposed to be on iron. Put this back in here since we're no longer feeding this anyway. Okay. So now we need to go to our blues, so it takes one to make two. Um, two, and we need 22,000. We take that 22,500. We divide that by two, which is 11,000. I'll just keep that in there. So every time we hit N, it's so 11,250. I don't think I have that. No. I have like maybe like three or 4,000. I'm going to wait uh, on that until we collect what we need. This is one to one. And this one's one to two. So. And I'm running out of space. <laughs> so we're just going to type that 11 
11,000. 250. Presence. Then this one's uh, red is one to one, right? That's what I read. Yeah, red is one to one, so. Yeah, 15. 15,000 presents. Okay. And that's uh, just for those. I wonder if we can do the candy canes. So, how many? We need 10,000 canes. Um, so, how much does it take to make canes? We're making them right now. So, it's three makes. Oh my gosh. So for, so for the canes, uh, if it's three presents makes one cane, you need to take that 10,000 times three, which is going to be 30,000. So 30,000. And then 18,000 branches. Uh, we'll just look that up since that's going. So fix, uh, the fixness tree branch, this is one to one. So that's going to be 18,000. 750, uh, 750 presents. The bundles, we've already counted for. The reefs, we've already counted for. The iron and copper, we've already counted for. Okay. So altogether, it looks like we're going to be needing about 40, 50, 65. So probably about 75,000 presents altogether. You heard that right. 75,000 <laughs> presents I'm going to need to collect. <laughs> Fuck me. This shit takes forever on its own, man. I'm going to have to do that, like, on my own. I am not going to put you guys through 75,000 presents collection challenge. Ugh. Or you just run around the map for hours on end. Okay, now that we've calculated all that. Sorry, we took all episode to do that, but it, it needed to be done. So, um, Needed to be done, and you guys get to see how I incorrectly do math. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. So back to what we were doing today. What's actually on the agenda... Um, So it's actually on the agenda for today is uh, getting rotors and stators hooked up. That's what we need to be working on. And I'm already physically drained. Or not physically, mentally drained. <laughs> I'm already mentally drained. Fuck <laughs> me. Ugh. All oh, right, they they come in on this side. They do come in on this side. Okay, cool. Oh, we got it. We got it. Um, and then they're going to be they're not going to be coming out of this side. Uh, staters. They're going to be coming out of this side. So walls. This thingy. There we are. Uh oh. Whew. <laughs> that was a lag spike and a half. Also, I grab this too. Whoa. So that's going to be bringing in the stuff. This is going to be exporting some of the stuff as well. So up there and down here. Okay, we just got to figure that out. That's going to be the next step. Well, maybe not the next next step, but that's going to be one of the steps. Anyway. So we're going to be coming in this side. 
with these two. Now these two need to go directly up there into splitters, like immediately. Um, so logistics, let's see exactly where this puts it. So right, right there. Okay, perfect. That's just fine with me. So conveyor floor hold. Oh, that's a wall hole. That's a mod. <laughs> Still baffles me to this day that they've never put that in. It makes no sense why they haven't. Like, why would you not? Like, what? You got floor. You got you got wall holes for pipes. Why not belts? Like, what? What's? Like, I know you've got the you've got the. Um, the walls with the holes in them, but those are predetermined. Sometimes we need, um, like honestly, you could you could take those out, and I'd be just fine with it as long as you added this here. Uh, I'd be just fine with it because then I could determine where my belts come in. I don't have to do this here, although this is also nice to have. But I can I can easily do that. Just like this, with this mod here. There you go. I got uh, the exact same wall hole. Plus, I could put a third one here, or if I wanted to, delete all those. I can. Uh, I want them coming in here, here, and here. And maybe I want ones coming in like this. And then connect the pyramid, and there you go. What if I? What if I want that? I can't have that. <laughs> Blaming the, the developers. I don't know. Maybe they just just over. They, they haven't really thought about it. They've been too busy with um with the what do you call it uh 1.0 and and all the, the recent updates and stuff like that, which I am totally fine with. By the way, some people aren't aren't as happy with those. I'm perfectly happy with them to be honest. Oh, whoops. Let's do this. Let's do this. This has actually been a pretty pretty cool way of doing stuff, I think. Let me out. So that we do that, right? I wonder... Hey, look at me. Look at me go. Nice. Okay. That works right there. So I don't even need these. And we don't have to get rid of the lifts. Well, I, I didn't need those to the point. Then we'll just... up like that. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> that looks pretty nice. Yeah, I guess the only problem is you can't upgrade these. Uh, I mean, you can. You don't have to get rid of the thing, but yeah, since our covered lifts are broken, and that is also on the um, it's on the mod manager as well that has been mentioned, so they are they are working on it. So, you just gotta be patient. <laughs> Which is just fine with me again. Again, I, you know, I'm in no rush. Plus, they they do it for free. I've mentioned this before as well. That uh, although I would really love for the update to be done right now, uh, I would I would quit the game right now and go update it. Um, I understand that there is a process <laughs> to all this, and. Uh, I understand that they're also doing it for free, so I can't, uh, you know, complain. <laughs> I'm not allowed to complain that it's not done right this minute. Although, this, I, I wouldn't anyway. I'm not that type of person. Let's see, will this work here? Maybe that's just because I understand. Um, 
I guess it's one of them things, right? It's one of them things that you don't truly understand uh, until you actually go through something similar or the same thing yourself, right? Like, and you don't truly appreciate something like that until you've gone through it. <laughs> like, I, you know... I mean, I, I still understood, but I never truly understood when it comes to making free content for somebody. It, no matter what that be. You know, making mods or making videos. It, uh, it was one of them things that I didn't understand until I started. Once I started making videos, like, truly making videos on here, not the ones from, like years and years and years ago <laughs> um, but yeah once I started started truly making videos it uh, it really did hit home how you know a lot of people end up or how a lot of people uh, don't understand it's not their fault either to be completely honest I don't, I don't blame them for not understanding they should understand but one of them things that uh, you can't expect people to know about till they've truly gone through it. Making it sound like something tragic. <laughs> like making YouTube videos is tragic. Uh, no, what, what I mean by that is until they've gone through making free content for somebody they don't truly understand. Um, they don't truly understand it's uh, for all that what it's what it actually takes to make videos every day or every other day or whatever I mean I don't even go through half of the hell that uh, some of them youtubers go through I don't know maybe it's not hell to them but definitely sometimes feels um, very like like you're just working towards a non-existent goal like you know your efforts are kind of worthless. <laughs> it does feel like that sometimes, but uh, you know, I'm not I'm not one to look at things that way. At least not completely. Actually, I need to go back over here because I I guess that's also because I enjoy it. I enjoy making video content. It's actually quite a uh, quite a fun experience. It can, it can be pretty harsh sometimes. Sometimes you can. You can get into a, a little bit of a rut where you just like, I just don't want to do it right now. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. This current moment. So five on the first one and then six on the second. Okay. But then I just remember to just just push through it. You know, hey, this doesn't. It's not gonna last. This type of stuff. Not gonna last, and then uh, you'll. Uh, Go back to wanting to make videos again here real soon. <laughs> Just push that. So yeah, it's, it's one of them things where you yeah, you don't you don't truly understand that um, until you've actually tried to do free content. But it's a, it's still a good it's still a good time. I enjoy doing it so. So six and seven, that's what I said, right? I've already done forgotten. <laughs> this is me, though. And here I am going on another rant. <laughs> uh, it's not really... I don't really go on rants, per se. They're, they're called rants, but... I don't know. I look at them as uh, just conversation. Five and six... Wait, this one might be wrong, though. Well, maybe not. Let's go with uh, six and seven. Uh, I guess there's a, there is a way we can test it. Do this. Yeah, we can do six and seven. Okay. And then we just get rid of the excess. Yeah, there is a... Like, I'm not going to shy away from it or anything. There is times where you just you just don't feel like making a video today. <laughs> you know? 
you just you feel like you're just like ah, I just uh, just don't have it in me today. I don't have the energy <laughs> to put forward. You know, and then that at, at that point, if you need to record, you're just like. <sighs> <laughs> I need to get content out there. I know they say that uh, you're not supposed to worry about that. Don't worry about getting content out every single day. It's like, yeah, but you kind of have to, though. The one thing that uh, those types of videos that you know try to teach you how to do YouTube and stuff like that, the one thing they don't tell you is that uh, sometimes you do have to get stuff out there. Um, you can't slack. <laughs> you can slack a little. But not much. It's like having a it's like having a real job, although uh, although you're not going to get fired from this job, but um, you are going to be hurting yourself in the end if you uh, if you take too long. People will it, like it, like if you're gone for a few months, right? And you're a smaller channel, you will probably lose most of your subscribers um, understandably so you know they're most people are going to think that you just kind of quit and left <laughs> you're you've moved on so there's no reason to you know to be subscribed to your channel anymore although i'll never i'll never willingly quit though so just remember that <laughs> i'll never willingly quit uh bleh, quit i'll never willingly quit I'd have to it something major would have to happen for me to quit doing YouTube uh, I, now that I've got a taste for it that sounds kind of dirty but <laughs> uh, especially combined with that other word but we won't talk about that <laughs> everybody be quiet don't say anything just, ign just ignore what you heard earlier <laughs> a little slip up Now that I've got a taste for for YouTube, it's it's something that I just I just want to do it now. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if I feel like um, it's a real chore at that current moment. I'm gonna push through. Or I don't care if I don't get subscribe if I don't earn subscribers for like uh, for a long time, which which has happened. There are, there are like you could call them dry spells, I guess. Let's just kidding weirder and weirder this conversation uh, but uh, yeah dry spells of uh, subscribers which is just fine you know I, I understand it's, it's part of the process it just sometimes it can be a little disheartening when you don't you're not earning subscribers at a at a decent rate when you stop earning for a few for a few weeks or a few months uh, or you even lose subscribers like at this point right now whenever time I lose a subscriber if it isn't due to YouTube removing a, a, a bot account um, I think I get a little sad but that's okay though it is one of them things that uh, that's a reality it's like they, and people can leave for whatever whatever reason they want I'm just fine with it because everybody has their reasons like I've so unsubscribed to YouTube channels because it's just like you know I don't want to watch them anymore. That's just just, just a thing. <laughs> like I'm not interested in their channel anymore. So uh, you know, and subscribe. I try to keep my subscribers or subscribers. My uh, I try to keep my subscription um, numbers down because I can't keep track of all that. <laughs> um, as far as how many channels I'm subscribed to, that's what I mean by that. Because I've seen so you know you can um, you can go on to people other people's channel channel I guess technically channel even if they don't post any videos you can see their subscribers usually unless they've had it specifically set to off but you can see people's subscribers and I've seen some I've seen some of my subscribers lists and I'm just like how do you keep track <laughs> You have, like, you know, 500 different channels you're subscribed to. 
<laughs> it's like, damn, boy. <laughs> uh, like, I, I don't know how you keep track of it. Like my 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 channels that I'm subscribed to is, I think, I think I have like maybe twenty, <laughs> if that. But that's just because I. Uh, um, there's only a few channels, that, a few different channels that I like to watch. And, th and that number has been growing recently because I'll subscribe to other small YouTube channels. It's like, you subscribe to me as a small YouTube channel, I'm going to subscribe right back. So, it's a little trade-off there. Um, yes. So now we need the mergers. This one's going to be a little bit awkward because of how this comes in. Because we need it all to end up over there. Let's see, how, how much does it make? 5, 10, 15? Now we're good. One belt will do. Um, I'm going to figure out a way to get around those. We have been, I've been having smaller channels subscribe to me and I'll give my subscribe right back. It says like a like a common courtesy type thing. Because then you know it's small channels supporting small channels, and then maybe we can maybe we can rise up to the challenge of the bigger channels. <laughs> we can rise up and meet their and meet their subscriber numbers that are in the millions. <laughs> uh, there's only a few that I know of that are actually, you know, like they're, they're in the double digit millions for subscriber counts. And it's just like, how? Also, these need to be mergers, not splitters. But yeah, just uh, you know, years and years and years on YouTube and being you know, super popular and stuff like that. And of course, they're not gonna, <laughs> they're not gonna divulge their secrets to us. That's just one of the things. Not that I expect them to either. This, uh, this conversation has gotten a little bit strange. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can. I think we can make that work. Gonna, it might be a little bit weird, but I think we can make it work. I might even put a like a lift in order to get the 90 degree, the 90 degree turn a little bit sharper. It might work. Okay, and then conveyor lift. Well then, those are all off. Somehow I got that screwed up and I don't know how. Oh, my big boy. Okay, now it's straight. That's why those, those lines didn't light up, I think. Can't see, auto save. Thank you. Okay, that one's lined up. And that one's lined up. Oh. Why did I do this? I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. How did this conversation go the way it did? That is going to be a question for the ages. <laughs> uh, yeah, I always try to look at things in a, oh my gosh, what the hell? I always try to look at things in a positive light. Which is, you know, a good way to go through life.
course, a person in my position, that's about the only way you can look at things. Because <laughs> if you look at it any other way, you'll go insane. You will literally go insane. You go through life, you know, not looking at things positively. Even if it's a big negative, you want to try to look at it as positively as you can in order not to go absolutely crazy about it. Okay, so there's that one, that one, and that one. Oh. Oh. Whoops. I see what I did wrong here. I was so lost in, in uh, random bouts of bullcrap. <laughs> I just completely... Uh, just completely didn't place these the right way. They need to be going this way. Because they're going to end up there. So yeah, that's uh, that is screwed up, and I can't see because the uh, camera's on the other side of the wall. There we go. Now we're correct. And also a person in, in, in my position, you gotta you gotta be thankful for a lot of stuff. That also keeps you sane as well. Like if you look at it as as uh, very very like uh, you know I'm very very thankful for all my for all the subscribers I have. And uh, if I continue to get uh, continue to get subscribers, you know I'm even more happy and thankful. Just, uh, just the way, uh, the way I always lived, I've always lived so far. Like every every good thing that's ever happened in my life, I'm very very thankful about it. Let's see, so there. This needs to go this way as well. Yeah, because I, I guess it's because I don't ever, I you know, I see people get corrupted um, uh, over time when it comes to different uh, different things. Like not everybody does. There are, there are those select few who do, they end up with something that, uh, they end up with something that they, they may or may not have deserved, whatever it is. Um, and at first they're, you know, they're thankful about it, but then after, you know, when things keep coming and coming and coming like that, they eventually get, uh, into the point where they just they think they deserved anything. It's called uh, entitlement, <laughs> which is a lot of it on YouTube. Uh, yeah, not just not just videos either, but uh, but uh, the comment section as well on some of the videos. A lot of people are just. I guess that's that, that's where I'm going with this. I guess <laughs> this whole conversation is. Uh, you truly don't understand uh, people's entitlement until um, until you make free content, <laughs> and not everybody is like that, uh, and uh, not everybody experiences it. But um, sometimes, uh, especially the bigger YouTubers, oh man, the amount of people that are—I'm uh, not saying the bigger YouTubers themselves. I'm saying their their fans, quote unquote, fans are supporters and stuff. Sometimes they feel they they deserve everything that that person has to give. <laughs> as far as you as far as making content and stuff goes and then 
they get extremely, extremely upset when a video, when you, when they miss a day of a video or whatever, they get extremely upset and, and whatnot. And you just go, wow. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Just, wow. I hope to never end up like that. And also, I hope to never think I deserve um, uh, sub counts and stuff like that. Like, I should be getting, I should be getting this subs, but everybody wants to be a terrible person to me. <laughs> I don't ever think that. Yeah. Uh, I make fun of those people. Because there's, uh, there's, there, it's on, it's on the combat side and, or the, uh, the viewership side and the, uh, and on the, uh, creator side as well. Both, both sides have it and... <laughs> Just one of them things, man. Which kind of sucks that that kind of stuff exists. I would... I'd rather just, you know, everybody should go through life with a positive, kind of a positive look on everything, and even if you are fed the, the silver spoon from birth, you should still be thankful about it, but, or you're hit, hit with the lucky stick, I guess. It's like, you shall now be lucky. Win the lottery. <laughs> you, you don't go for years and you buy that one ticket. <laughs> you buy that one ticket going, I never win at these things. And then you win. <laughs> uh, hit with the lucky stick. Heck yeah. Something I definitely would like. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we do up to these. Like, I'm very thankful for what I have, but. If I do end up uh, with a bit more, I'd be even more <laughs> thankful and happy about it. Uh, that'd be amazing. Maybe one day. Uh, not winning the lottery. That's not really going to happen. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe one day we'll uh, we'll grow this channel big enough to um, to uh, actually start earning a bit of cash on YouTube. It's three in between. Those are mergers. I'm stupid. <laughs> Those needed to be splitters. And they need to be going. Yeah, one needs to go this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> uh, guess I felt like just going on a rant today. A little bit of a, a little bit of a rant. Sometimes it's good to voice it out. To, a good to voice it out. Just, uh, you know, kind of brings the, I don't know, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about something. There's something to be talked about. What it is, I couldn't tell you. Uh, logistics. And this. Well, that'll bring it up there. So you're probably wondering what this is if you haven't seen this before. So I've been building these because we're going to have, we might, or more likely we're going to end up with multiple floors in a lot of these buildings. So I'm preparing for the future. So what this is is this is a splitter merger setup to split or to merge between floors. And these splitters just act as a way to connect these lifts 
without taking up any additional room on the sides or on the back or anything like that. So these are connected to, so this one's connected to this splitter. So when another belt comes in, it's going to split, but it's not going to split. It's, it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to go straight to this left. And then it's going to merge into this one. And then it's going to go out the, out the wall. So that's going to be one of them things. And I also forgot too that uh, we do need to split between floors. One needs to go down there somehow. I'm thinking, you know what I, I might do? We might just have one belt because one of these needs to split over there. Let's have this belt here. Um, we're going to have it come up, I think. We'll have this one come up through this floor hole and then we're going to split. Uh, then we're going to split it right here, and then we'll bring a lift down that way. Um, and then that'll split between. Uh, then it'll merge into here, I think. Or should we have the split and then have it merge onto this one? If we have it merge onto that one, because that's the belt most likely to leave. This one's not going to come in until later. Uh, that's quite the puzzler we got going on here. Maybe we'll get it going out here, and this will be the split. But I want to merge both of them together somehow. I need to figure that. Oh, you know what? Instead of doing it like we normally do, we could bring these two together. Um right there and then bring them up through the floor um, and then we'll bring it over here like here merge them together and then split them between this side and this side Huh. That's, this one's going to be a little bit different, I think. Um, so these are mergers. I can't exactly change that. I'm going to get rid of this. Because I think... I think I want to reverse this. Let's, let's, let's reverse this. This will be easier this way. So we're going to bring the belts. Oh, we can't. That's right, we can't. The only way to do that is to remove these. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, let's let's get these all in one line and then we'll figure it out from there. Um confirm mergers. Yeah, yes. Okay. Let's start with this side. We'll we'll get it figured out. Might be able to get uh, staters being made today. Okay. Very good. Yeah, this is this is the better way to do it. I should have done it. I had it right the very first time, and I should have listened to myself. Because these are not going to carry this many, so. Yeah, then we're going to. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then we can. Uh... I... Belt is too steep. Oh. Oh, 
that's not at the right level either. Hmm. What about one of these? It'll have to go there. Okay. Uh, I want this. Yeah, it just touches it. It's fine. Bring it around like this. Very nice. Should be using the smart mod to its full potential here. Like it's like, I think that's straight. Oh, <laughs> never mind. We can't use it that way. So we just have to trust that it's straight. And it looks straight based on the shadow. Oh, we screwed that up. Wait, no, we didn't. That should go here. Yeah. Oops. There's too many wall mounts there. Wait, what? I don't know what's going on. Let's get rid of that. I don't like that. Something's broken about that one. There we go. Okay. And that double place. Never mind. We got it. We did get it. We got through our rant and we got everything <laughs> merged. Uh, dear. Uh, my rants have gotten worse. Stuff that people don't want to hear. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure you guys can forgive me talking about this stuff. It's one of them things that if you don't talk about it, no one ever does, you know. And if you do talk about it, you can get yourself in some pretty deep hot water. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to need this one side. Um... So then we'll just move this over. So we're only going to have, we're going to have two outputs, but one's, it's just going to be one on this side. Eh, no, we might do the two. Um, just like normal, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be staters going other places. So architecture, no walls. Yeah. There. <laughs> Now I'm going to back off the other one. <laughs> I'm going to back off this one. Like, ah, oh, I need more space. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're going to do then. Uh, we're going to have a merger. Logistics. We're going to have a merger like normal. And we're going to have a splitter, like normal. Um, then we're going to have another merger right here, just, just, just to block off the site from um, other stuff. Then we're going to have, so we're going to have the normal lift here, just like that, which will connect into that one. Looks a bit off from normal. Like, usually they're like in the center. Put these there for a moment. Oh, it's because these are touching. I see. Yeah, these are not supposed to touch. Bad touch. Okay. 
there. That's better. Oh no, that needs to stay there. No, that's better. <laughs> that's still off. What? Hold on. So that one's going towards there. That one's going towards there. Oh, it's because this one isn't moved. And also, these aren't. Those aren't where they should be. Okay. Said, so, well, we'll get it figured out. Just uh, take some time. Yeah, that's where that needs to go. Just like that. There's our two mergers. And then one splitter up here. Because we're only going to need the one for now. And then we're going to take another splitter and we're going to put it. I put it like this. Maybe put it like that. Or. That's a weird one, right? So I put it like this. Okay, I think that'll work. Um, then we can use all sides. It's a conveyor. What? What is... Okay, which merger is wrong here? It's going in. It's going out. It's not wanting to connect now. Why not? It should connect. It connects to that side. What's going on with this merger here? Place it. Maybe that'll fix it. That is really strange. And I can't connect to this side of it. Never had that happen before. And oh, now works. Okay. So now that that's there, we're just gonna. Hopefully that's going the right way. It is not. Why didn't I look at that first? <laughs> uh. There. Are you probably wondering what the heck is he doing? What is he doing now? I should be able to split this, go through the floor, and then go down there. I might, um, I might pre put one of these lifts down here. do that. Okay. Then it should match up right there. Okay. Conveyor lift mark three. Of course. We we'll use 
use this trick. This is actually a really nice trick. Works out pretty darn well. Nicely. Uh, okay, and that'll put it into the floor. Get rid of this flooring. What do I have? A dual output. Only need one. This one's gonna go to storage underneath. So I would like to get it hooked up. Or we put the floor back. But yeah, I don't know why I have a dual outlet here. It doesn't need anything else coming in, and it doesn't need to output a dual, uh, a dual one. And honestly, I don't even know why we need a wall. to bring out our uh, staters down to down to storage okay let's go back up here let's put in a floor hole up here oh yeah we need to put our lift in as well So the floor hole is going to go right there. Nope, oh, a little further away. Wait, which way is this splitter going? Oh, whoops, I got my splitter going the wrong way. The reconnect. That there specifically. Is this lined up. Yes, it is. And it's the way I want it. Yes. Okay. So that's going to to there. And we do need to connect that. We're going to grab our conveyor lifts. There. There. Okay. Try to bring this over. Actually, I'm going to put the lift well. Probably should put the lift in just well. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. There. Oh, nope, no, 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 no. There. There we are. Okay. Let's see, which is level? There? Oh, wait. Um. There's level, okay. There, now, so all of them are gonna go into there. They're gonna go up that lift. And then they're going to split three ways. They're gonna split to this line, split to this line, and then split to this one. This one goes down to storage. This one goes to our motors, and this one goes if we need another line coming out. Uh, well, this one will go to... Yeah, this one goes to motors. This one goes to whatever. That's it. You know, whatever. <laughs> okay. So now we got to figure out the rest of this mess. Oh, we should probably get up there again. And yeah, we're going to get staters working today. 
care what it takes. We still need to get, oh, we still need to get electricity in here. Oh, yeah, we're in a, we're in a little bit of trouble. That's right, we'll figure it out. Um, so these ones are coming in at the same level, which is just fine. But, same time. We need to get them at a point to where, oh. Huh. All right, we're gonna have to change that. That's gonna need to go lower if it wants to be connected in properly. I think I've done this before. This should work. So it's right there is where that one is. And this one... needs to go like that. Then we're gonna grab... we're actually gonna... you know, should we place these manually or... there to there. That one to there. Okay. I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Oop, can't get by. No! Up we go. Got our wire in our in our uh, steel pipe. So this one or these ones need to go right to the middle. Do I have these down the middle? You okay? It is between walls. And one, two. It's going to connect to there. This one, same thing. Nice. 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 Look at that beautiful shot as we pack up and everything gets full. Cool. I like it. Alright, now we got to set all our... F oh no, we did set all our filters. Okay. So everything's hooked up there. We need to um, we hook this back up. So the I had to wait a second on that one to figure out exactly where this needed to go. I think that's level, actually. I do think that is level. It's not. Okay. Never mind. We'll just put it lower. Fine with everybody? Everybody cool with me? <laughs> now we need to put a lift on this too. Okay, that should be... Yep, that's level. Alright, cool. And then that fixes that. I like it. It's a little wonky in places, but it works. Okay, so now we just gotta get power. Now the only problem is, is we went, we've, we have went a little more advanced with our power on this. So we've got to do that again. Um, so if you haven't seen how I made these, we're gonna show you exactly how I made these to make them look more interesting. So first things first things first, we gotta figure out Okay, so it's on the third wall, top of the wall. 
third wall, top of the wall. Or no, one, two, three, fourth wall, top of that wall. Okay. Four. I'm going to remove a wall just to make sure I don't uh, forget where that's at. Then we're going to grab a wall mount. So. There's the top of the wall. Make sure that's the same. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. So now that we got our placement, we're going to grab an architecture, and a small concrete pillar. I think that's at the right height? I'm not sure. I have to grab a ladder. Okay. And yes. So we put a thing like that, and we grab this, just like that. Then we remove this one, back down to architecture, grab another one. We can do you can you can do this in a number of ways, um, as long as you get it right there. And then we just grab oh, we just grab another one of these. Can't see past that. Can't see past the ladder either, <laughs> apparently. Oh, how weird. Those don't have texture on the bottom of them. I mean, they don't need to be. It's just it's curious. And there we go. The, the texture, I don't like it. Um, Mark 1s do better. So I'll change those back to Mark 1s. It's like Mark 1's just do much better with that. Okay. So we've done that. So then we just take our power and carry it over. To there. Okay. And look at that, it gives it a nice firm connection looking. Looks like everything's nice and supported. And it's nice and high, so. No, uh, no vehicles can have a problem with this. Mm -hmm. And then we grab a, I'm gonna go grab a Mark II. So normally I like to put down, I'm gonna put on a foundation. We have a one meter wall in there. We're gonna grab a Mark I, or sorry, a Mark II double wall outlet. How did I do the corners on the... Okay. Yep, yep. So like that, and then like this. There we go. Now everything is connected to the building. Let's make a hole. Oh. Let's not make a hole there. Make a hole over here instead. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit difficult because our power... Uh, because of where our power is. So if we if we take it right down the middle, it shouldn't be too hard to do. Oh, whoops. Should have been connecting this. Okay. Now we're gonna bring a pole right up to the middle here. There we go. Keep everything nice and secure. And there we go. We are now making staters. Heck yeah, man. And you're probably wondering, well, why does it take you so damn long to do anything? <laughs> Partially because I'm extremely slow and I have to 
meticulously think about everything I do because I never plan anything and I'm never prepared. But also partially because this this city build is kind of crazy, so it does take a lot to do anything. But uh, you guys get to see the creative process that my mind goes through every single day. <laughs> Uh, because I never plan out anything, I'm forcing myself to think on the fly, so. Or at least I'm trying to, and that actually, I think that actually is good for you, to be able to think on the fly, think on your feet. Because if you always have a plan for everything, sure, but what happens when, you, when you're unable to plan? Um, then you do have to think on the fly. And you have, if you haven't developed that part of your brain very much yet, you can't screw yourself. Look at that stator! Go stator! <laughs> Go staters! <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, 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 a football team. We're gonna have the, we're gonna have the staters, and we're gonna have the rotors, and have them have a face off inside of a football arena. <laughs> Uh, it's like uh, two teams inside of, or on this planet inside of the the world of Satisfactory. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it does sound like like staters and rotors. There's that that does, like when you think of it as sports, that does kind of sound like a a team name. Okay, well. Um, Let's see. So, the other thing I want to do before we head off is I do want to disconnect these two belts. Do that. Um, now, the reason I want to disconnect those two belts is because uh, I'm going to start collecting. Um, did you hear my neck pop? I heard my neck pop. That was really strange. <laughs> Just went crack, any crack? Or crack? Something like that. Um, is because uh, I want to collect enough for all of this. If I can do that, then we can uh, have enough presence to just start building red and blue right off the bat. And everything else too, and, um, but I can also fill these chests full of the presents, and uh, not have to worry about if I have enough yet, and I don't have to worry about filling up another a different chest because we're gonna need a lot. So, uh, but anyway. That's going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. We are way over time, but uh, we got our staters hooked up, and now we're making staters. So, um, that's good news. Very, very good news. But, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time on Satisfactory. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a... Goodbye.